Go. Good morning. I'm Mike Porter from Bass Pro Shops in Dania. Um, today we're going to take a look at a uh, Echo Map 74 at CV SD, uh, meaning basically in our sonar we're going to have side view and clear view for down looking. Um, we're going to take a quick look at our charts and basically how to run this particular machine. Uh, at any given time, um, we have a home button on here. Once we press the home button or when we first turn the machine on, it's going to show this page right here. This is our home page. From there, we can choose charts, sonar. Um, if you have it on there, autopilot and your combination. Basically, we're going to take a look at charts, sonar, and the combination. Um, the main thing that we want to do when we're when we have this on is we want to concentrate on the use of our option button. Um, basically our back button will just bring us back to where we started from. Our nav button is our nav info where we have waypoints, routes, we search by name, our tracks, offshore services, tides and currents. Again, at any given time we press the home button and we're back to the home. Um, at any other given time, no matter what page that we are on, if we press a mark button, we can mark the spot that we're at, whether we're on our sonar, whether we're on our charts, or we just physically see something out on the water. Um, by marking that, we can edit it, we can use icons, we can mark it for depth, time, and, and dates. Um, we're going to take a quick look at our charts. So we press the chart button. We're going to take a look at the navigation chart. Any page that I go on to, being the chart page that we're on right now, if I press the menu once, on that menu is going to give me the options for that page. Um, from there, I can do a chart setup to set it up with the tides and currents, overlay numbers that will show up on the chart itself, or the chart appearance. On the chart appearance, our orientation, we particularly set it up for a north up. A heading line that would draw a line for my heading. Uh, spot depth that would be on the spot depth. The detail, I've set it up for most, which will give you the most detail on the, on the chart itself. Again, we go back out. And now we have our chart. This particular chart is set up in Key Biscayne Bay. And as you can see, all your different wrecks, your water depths, and all your markers are set up on there for easy navigation. Hit our home button one more time. We're going to take a look at our sonar. You have traditional sonar, your clear view, and your side view uh, sonar. Your traditional basically going to run the bottom for us as we set everything into auto. By doing that, we go into the menu and we can set it up from here. Our frequency will be set up as a chirp. Our range is set up on auto, which will help us to follow the bottom and stay close to the bottom. Back out of it. And basically here. Again, if I see something on there I want to check, I can hit the mark button and I can actually just mark that button. Now I have that in my waypoints and I can always come back to it. Combinations, basically in our combos, we can set those up and we can detail them the way we want them to show. We can have a double map, we can have sonar with the map, or we can use a combination of all three, clear view, side view, and, and the traditional. Or we can set it up with three boxes of chart, traditional, and down view, clear view, which would be good for rec following wrecks and things like that in shallower water. Okay, great. We're going to take a look this morning at the 74 SV. Um, basically on this unit, to, to learn how to do this unit, we want to concentrate on 
the usage of the menu itself, not so much looking at the screen. This is a touch screen, so it's quite useful to use the same as you would use your telephone. Um, on this particular model, when you first hit it, it's going to bring up your home page. As you see right here, your charts, sonar, frequently used, and basically your combos. The rest of this is options that will be on there that you can use later on. On the bottom down here, this is basically what you would use on your buttons as far as to go back or to go forward once you choose something. Your settings are what you would look at for your main menu. This would be your main menu here. Again, to go back, we press the back button and it brings us back. Your nav information brings you up your waypoints, your routes, your tracks, searching by name inland surfaces, your tides, currents, and then managing your data. Any updates and things like that. Again we press the back button. Your mark button, no matter what page you're into, you press the mark button and you have marked a spot. In there you can edit it through this, delete it, or move it. Uh, your menu, basically whatever page that you're into, once you hit your menu, it's going to give you the option of the page. Right now we're going to look at the chart. We're going to use a navigation chart. Once we're in the navigation again, our menu button is going to bring us to set up the options of the page. Your waypoint tracks, quick draw contours, chart setup, other vessels. That will not be a part of it unless we have an AIS or a MARP setup. Your chart Here's your tide currents, overlay numbers, your rose compass, and your chart appearance. On your chart appearance, your orientation to set up north up, your heading line, which would draw you a line in the heading you're taking, spot depths that would be on the chart, depth shading that you could shade any part of the chart for a certain depth that you would be targeting, your detail will allow the amount of detail that would be on your chart. We're going to mark it up to most. Back it back out. Your world map, it's already set up as a base map. Your shallow shading, again for safety reasons, for the draft of your boat when running in shallow waters. Go back to your home page. We have a sonar page. In the sonar page, in our traditional first, our traditional basically is set up in a chirp and that would also be for the 740 um, would be the same type of setup with that um, depending on the transducer that you're using on that again we have a menu we set up the menu and it gives you the options for your page your gain your beam width the zoom the sonar transmit and the frequency that we're using. Like I said, we're using a chirp transducer on this one. The range would be on auto. Setting it on auto will actually follow the bottom for you unless you're targeting a certain bottom depth. Your sonar setup, again, your depth line, on-screen control, overlay numbers that would show your depth, whether the size that you would want on there, your appearance, basically would be your background color scheme, your A scope for instant what would be on the screen, your fish symbols for setting up fish symbols, putting them in at depth, back out, and it would show up on your screen here. Now the fish will show up on there, it will actually follow bottom for you. Here's your fish coming in here, 26 feet, 8 feet, and multiple fish. Go back out again. We get into our clear view. Our clear view, your maximum speed for clear view is going to be three to four miles an hour to get a good picture of it. Basically what that's doing is working almost like an MRI. You're, it's a pendulum type pickup so you have to be moving to create the picture but it's going to create a, a clear picture for you set up into there. Again on your main menu you can set your contrast, your range, your brightness, your zoom and again just like any of the other sonars your scroll speed, 
on speed con screen control. Overlay numbers for the size that you want onto it. Again, we can back out of here. And we're gonna do a side view. The side view here, you have your range buttons on both sides here. Minus, you can see 70 feet and 100 feet. You can preset those or you just set them as, as you want to go as you're using it. This dark area right here is your water column going down and then comes out to the sides. Here's the bottom of the, on, on your starboard side. This is the bottom on your port side. You can actually see the shadows from rock formations and things like that. Again, our menu's here, and we can do the exact same thing we showed on the last two. Contrast, range, brightness, zoom, and the sonar setup. At any given time, you hit home, and it's going to bring you right back to the home setting. Uh, from the home setting, no matter where you're at, again, anywhere, you, whatever page that you're on, hitting the mark button is going to allow you to mark whatever it is at any given time whether you see something in the water, whether you see something on your sonar, or there's something on the map. Um.